Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these big daisy seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. So if you like what I'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button if you still haven't. In this way you will be inspired often usually twice a week and i will be so glad to have you as my viewer you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you do following my tutorials you could also check my second channel bijuteo fast clips by the way now you could skip the intro if you don't want to listen to me every time saying the same stuff and you could directly go to the list of the materials or to the work itself. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads, the daisy colors, white, yellow and green. And here I use earring finding. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are flat nose pliers. They are not obligatory. I use them to go through the difficult beads if needed. Okay, so now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and what I'm going to do now is make a yellow circle for the center of my daisy. And in order to do this, I'm going to start by picking up eight of those beautiful yellow beads. Okay, I have my eight and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a loop just like this and go twice through the loop I've made and pull. And this is called a surgeon's knot or half hitch knot. And I'm making one more knot. When I pull, I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started it. And I go like this. And I have this beautiful small circle here. In my next step, I'm going to take one seed bead. And as I'm exiting through this yellow bead, I'm going back in circle through it just like this and you see here I have a loop between those two beads okay this is what I do then I go through the following yellow bead just like this and I take one yellow and I go back in circle through this one and through the following just to save time because otherwise I should do one more move and go through it Okay, now I'm taking one more yellow. I'm going back through this one and exiting out of the next. Then I take one more yellow and I go back like this. Okay, and now I will show you faster until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now this is what I have. And now as I'm exiting through this yellow bit, I will turn directions by going through the following yellow just like this. And don't worry about turning directions. And now I will take one yellow and I'm going through the yellow in my next row. Then I take one more yellow and I go through the following yellow. And this row is really pleasant and really easy because you just fill in the gaps of the beads that you added in your previous row. Okay. 
Okay, guys, now I have this. And you could go reinforce this row just to feel that it's all nice and secure. And don't worry that I flip direction. It's easier for me to go in this direction because I'm right-handed. But if you prefer, you could continue in the other direction. It doesn't matter for the final work. Okay, and now I have this. And now it's time to cut my tail thread here. Okay guys, and now in my next row I'm gonna be doing similar thing. I'm taking one yellow bead and I'm going back through this yellow that I'm exiting out of. It is the same thing that I did before. Okay, and in my next step I'm going through the following yellow. But this time what I do is that I take two yellows instead of one. And I'm going back through it. And just to save time through the next yellow as well. So now I will continue with these two steps until the end of this row. So I take one seed bead and go back through the seed bead as I'm, that I'm exiting out of in circle, back in circle. Then I take two seed beads and I go back through the bead I'm exiting out of back in circle. In this way I will double half of my beads. In my previous row I doubled my beads. So I had eight beads in the beginning, in the first row. And in the second row I had 16 beads because I doubled them. First I added 8 beads around and then I filled in the gaps with 8 more, so there are 16. And now in this row what I do is that I double every second bead or half of the beads. So now I will have 24 beads in this row. Okay. And now guys I will continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and I'm here at my last step where I need to add two beads. If you worked correctly at the last step you will add two beads because you started with one bead and you alternate them and they are an even number of beads in your previous row that you're doubling. That is why you need to meet one with two beads at the end and you need to have 24 beads in this row. Okay. If you want, count them and see because otherwise the other part of your work won't be successful. Okay, now what I want to do is go reinforce this last row like I did in my previous row because I want my beads to stay in a better shape, not move around but in a nice circular shape. And what I'm going to do in my next step is take three seed beads and as I'm exiting here through this yellow seed bead, I skip one seed bead and I go through the following two beads. So I have this. Then I take three seed beads, I skip one, and go through the following two. Then I take three white beads. I skip the one that's on my way and I go through two. So the number is three, one, two. Take three, skip one, go through two. 
take three, skip one and go through two. Okay, so this is what I do and I will continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and I take my last three beads and I skip one and I go through two beads, okay, and when I pull I have this and I know I work correctly because here between my last two elements I have two yellow beads as a spacer and I have eight in total, eight elements in total. Now as I'm exiting here I need to take five seed beads. Okay, I have five and I skip this one here at the top that's sticking out the most and I go through the following and if you can in one movement also go through the following two yellow beads and then I go here through this white bead just like this again I'm going to take five seed beads and I have my five and I skip this central one and I go through the following white and through the next two yellows. Okay, I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. So I'm exiting here, I'm taking five, skip the central one and go through the following. Okay, and I will continue this off camera. If you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind and you will see. Okay, see you in a while. Okay, guys, and here I have my last five beads from this row. And what I want to do now is go here and pull. Then in my next step, I want to go in this direction. And I'm exiting here at the top where I need to add five more white beads. Okay, and I have my five here. And as I'm exiting here one bead away from the center, I'm going, I'm skipping the central one that's sticking out the most and I'm going through the following two beads okay now I have this and I'm going to take one green bead and as I exit here I will go here uh, one white bead away from the center from the yellow center so you see I'm exiting out of this bead that is one bead away from the center and I'm going through this white bead that is one bead away from the center as well. So I go here through this white one and I need five whites. Okay, five. And I skip the central one and go through two beads. I go two beads from this top bead. Okay, you see where my thread is one bead away from the center and I take one green and I go one bead away from the center again and again I'm going to take five skip the center one here and go through two beads okay and take one green and go through two beads in this direction one bead away from the central okay now guys i will continue this until the end of this row and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next 
Okay guys, and as you may see, I'm here where I just added my last five beads. And what I need to do is add one green and again go one bead away from the center. As I'm exiting one bead away from the center, I'm going one bead away from the center in one direction and then in the other direction. And now guys, I will do similar thing, but now I will do this with two beads away from the center. You see now where my thread is, it's two white beads away from the center and I will take two green beads and I will go two beads away from the center. Okay. Now what I do is that I go here in this direction and I want to make sure that I'm two white beads away from the center of my work and I'm going to take two seed beads and I will go here in this direction and two beads away from the center. Okay, now just like this. And I'm going to take two and like this in the same place. Okay guys, and I will continue this until the end of this row and I'll meet you here in a while. If you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind the video and repeat these steps from here. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm finishing this row. And I do absolutely the same thing. I'm going two beads away from the center or one bead above this bead that is already there. Okay, and now guys, what I wanna do is finish my work by attaching my earring finding. And now guys, as I'm here, what I wanna take are 11 green beads. Okay, they are 11 and I'm going to slide those down just like this. Then I will skip this one that's on my way and I will exit here three beads away from the white one. So I'm going through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beads and I'm skipping this one at the top and I pull, okay. Then what I wanna do is take three seed beads and I go here in the same place, okay. I'm going through this bead that is two beads away from this top bead that's sticking out the most. Okay, and when I pull, I have this. Now I want to go back in this direction. Okay, and now I want to go through the third seed bead, counting from here, one, two, three. This is the third one. And I'm going to take three green beads. Okay, I have my three. Slide those down. until I have this. 
then I will skip this one here at the end and go through these two. Then I will go here through this one, through this green. And I'm going to take two more green beads. And I will go through this one here at the end again. And then I go through these two in this direction. Then I go through these two beads, two greens from here. Okay, like this. Now I will repeat the similar thing. I'm taking three green beads, sliding those down those three beads down. I will flip it like this because I feel it's easier. Then I'm skipping the last two beads here in this direction. Uh, sorry, I'm skip I skip the one that's the last of my tree. Okay, now I have this and after that I go here through this one. Take two, go through this last one that I skipped to go back through, just like this, and then back through these two beads. Okay, and now I want to exit here at the top. Okay, just like this. Now I'm taking my earring finding. Okay, let's say this one. Take one green, my earring finding, and one more green bead. Okay, this is what I have. And I want to slide those down. And then I'm going back like I did before through those beads in this direction. Then I'm doing some fixing here. Okay, just like that. And I want to go back to reinforce this joint. And how I do this, I skip one bit and I go back like I did before. Then I go back here one more time. And then again in this direction. Okay, and now I want to find a place and make a knot and cut my thread. Going in this direction. Okay, let's say I will do my knot here at this place. So I'm doing it by making here a loop and going once, then going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then what I do is that I go through the following seed bead and pull and you could repeat this knot several more times but when you're ready Cut your thread and your earring, big daisy earring is ready. 
Okay guys, and now my big daisy seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will be notified when I make new tutorials, usually two times a week and you will be inspired often. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. And you could check my second channel Bijutel Fast Clips and if you like subscribe there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.